What's up everybody? I'm super excited to welcome you here in this 13th, 14th century magnificent church in front of this big organ. And I'm going to tell you in a minute exactly in detail why I'm standing here on this scaffolding and what my relationship is with this instrument. But first, join me on our way up to the top of this organ, 25 meters above the floor, because there are some very beautiful Baroque instruments to see. So, in fact, we are not standing yet on the top floor. We're going to the top floor in a minute. Here are some instruments that normally, of course, you are you can see them from stand, standing on the on the floor, but of course they are 20 or 25 meters above the floor, so they are so small. We are in a unique position here now. The reason that we are here is this church is in restoration, the inner part of the church, and of course, therefore, the church needs to be complete uh, set up with scaffolding. It's very safe and since I am the architect, so to say, of this organ, we were invited to inspect and this organ case and the uh, facade pipe, so, so to say. So here a cello, a violin, a wood instrument and some musical notes, original three lines, so it's nothing real that you can make up from that. So let's go to the very top of this instrument on this organ case and just visit the top ornament, which is David playing the harp. Come with me. So here we are really on top of the uh, church, in fact, we are almost, there's a roof, if I not can film that, so we are really high above the floor and this is David playing the harp. If you see the picture of the organ that I made a few years ago, then you can tell how, how high we are. So of course this is, this is something that you will never be able to touch again, maybe in 50 years or even more because a church like this uh, needs only restoration in once in, a few, in so many years, so many decades. So this is really unique. I'm, telling, I'm going to tell you about the history of this organ, which is fascinating in just a minute, but just have a look how high we are now here. So we are standing here, in fact, in the St. Jan's Church, St. John Church in Mechelen, which is a city near Brussels. And Mechelen is a beautiful city, it was very important in the history of Belgium, actually in the history of Flanders. Once uh, it was the capital, so to say, of the Spanish, uh, when, the, when the Spanish ruled over Europe. I mean, I'm not going to uh, dive too deep into history but many centuries ago, and you still can tell that Mechler was very powerful in the past. And so this church is one of the most beautiful ones uh, because all the, the richer people of those days, they gathered around this church. So here you will have many important paintings by Rubens, Van Dijk, I believe. So the, the, the big Flemish painters, you will find them in this church. And this church, apparently this part of the church is still in restoration, the interior. Uh, the other part, of which I can show you some footage while I'm talking here, is done and is really, really, really beautiful. So, talking on this organ, that was built in the late 18th century and it has a really interesting story because the big organ facade, as you see here, suggests a really big organ. 
But in fact, this facade was built before the organ. And the reason why they did that is that at, I believe, 1772, there were big festivities here in Mechelen. And of course, as a richest city, they still had their old organ, which was positioned in, 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 in the front of the church, not really in the front, but in the middle. There was a kind of if, uh, 15th or 16th century organ. And of course, that didn't show off too well for an 18th century parish as they were back then. And so they needed, as they thought, to have a big organ for that festivity, for that occasion. But of course there was not enough time, money was not a problem, but there was not enough time to build a big organ. And so they, they, they ordered this organ case empty. So there was not even an organ builder appointed to build an organ behind that. They wanted just to have it um, as a kind of show off uh, and to show off also their, their, their money and their, their, how rich they were. The funny thing about this organ case is that it has really awkward proportions. It is really big. And if you would stand over there, so behind the Rückpositiv, that's the small organ there where the organist used to sit. Actually, the singers, they don't, are not able to see in the church. It's overdimensioned. So to uh, to give even more the illusion from pe for people who are watching that from downstairs that this organ is really gigantic. And so behind that organ was built a few years later a magnificent Baroque organ. I'm going to tell you a little bit more, but let's just go one stairs down to, to, uh, to, to see, have a close look to the organ pipes. So here we are very close to the organ. And in fact, part of these organ pipes are actually no organ pipes. So these are made out of wood. These one are real. Uh, 1782 van Peterhem, which was a very important and very uh, influential Flemish organ builder. They had a kind of uh, artisanal skill that was really the, the highest that you could imagine at the time. Behind this you don't see an organ and that has a reason and we cannot enter the, the, the tower room which is a pity because in that tower you would see and I have a picture I will show it for you at the time when we did some research here before. There are two paintings that they discovered recently from the 14th century more than life tall so uh, representing people of really out of the middle ages. It's, it's really a weird feeling if you have the possibility there, as Anya and I did, to uh, have your lunch there, in fact, when you're doing your work between two pictures, paintings of people looking at you that lived almost a thousand years ago. So it's, 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 it, this is a magnificent place. So the organ is now empty, and the reason for that is that as many organs in Europe and, and, and actually everywhere in the world where organs were built in the past, they were so expensive that when time evolves and then taste is taste developed that people often, uh, instead of ordering a new organ, they just ordered an organ builder to rebuild the organ. And this organ was no exception, certainly not in a place like this where money was not a problem until the French Revolution afterwards it's changed. So many parts of this organ were actually changed in the 19th century and even in the early 20th century in a way that the original spirit of that organ was in fact lost. And so partly due to the restoration of those wall paintings, this, this, this organ was taken down completely to give room to the restorers to make their work properly and also to give me as an architect for the organ restoration the occasion to really investigate the organ pipes which are not here anymore. They are preserved in another place. So Anya and I, um, that's how we work and that's the other part of my life in fact. I'm not always playing the clavichord but in fact you could say this is my day job in a way. Um, we have gone through all these pipes, noted down all the inscriptions and made actually an ana analysis of, of the situation, how it could have been in 18 or in 1782. And that's the situation where this organ will be restored to. 
I have another project here in Mechelen that's a sister organ of this with a normal organ case in fact and that probably is going to be first but those organs are very very similar. So in fact this visit to the St. John church here was a rather unexpected for us. We knew that it was coming because we knew that the church would go into restoration but we got a message last week that the scaffolding was ready and we were actually expected to inspect the organ now that we did today and uh, because next week they will hang curtains and, and plastic and everything to protect the organ uh, when the church is uh, being done further, the restoration of that. So I hope you en enjoyed a little bit this, this other whim, so to say, this is a part of my life as well, organ, uh, uh, organ restorations as an architect. So I'm not an organ builder, I will not touch the wooden parts and the organ pipes and will not make things myself, but I design the plans and I do the historical research for those projects. And in fact, that's the other, other whim. We have, to, we have to whim on authentic sound behind the keys of my clavichord. And this is in fact, you could say my day job. Um, the authentic sound is becoming, of course, more and more important in our lives, both of Anya and me uh, as a business, so to say, and it's balancing, it's balancing out each other. Not yet, but that's of course where we aim for. And so, yeah, since we had this unique Called to come and have a closer look at the organ. There was no way that I would forget you and show you a little bit also of that. So I hope you enjoyed that and if you did give, give this video a thumbs up and we see each other soon again probably with music. Bye. I'm going to, I'm going to explain but first go with me completely upstairs and see for yourself the blah 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 blah.